Creality offers this digital spool holder that will actually weigh your filament. But is it better than a scale? Let's talk about it on today's Filament Friday. Creality 3D printers have very similar spool holders, whether it's a cheap under three or the new K1s. They all use the same type of spool holder. You've got a twist nut if you're going to hold it to a bracket like on an under three. You can get a side spool holder and some printers come with that. You take off the nut and it just twists into the bracket. You can also get spool holders that spin. This one actually has bearings in it so it spins easier. You twist that in the same place and then you can put a spool on it and it spins a lot easier. Some people don't like that because it loosens up the filament on retraction, but it is an option. And I've even shown how you can 3D print your own bracket and use that same spool holder. Many months ago, Creality released their 3D digital spool rack. Now this is a spool holder that mounts to these brackets the same as a regular spool holder, but it's got electronics in it that will actually weigh your spool of filament the same way you could weigh it with a digital scale. Full disclosure, I bought this myself on Amazon for $31 with Prime Shipping. They did not donate it to the channel. So let's take a look at what you get for your $31. It comes with a bracket just like the Ender 3 and also a nut to lock it in place. And it comes with a charging cable to charge the battery that's inside, although I find the battery lasts a very long time. So all you have to do, if you have a side spool hold like this, unscrew it, screw this one in place, but you just want to make sure that you get it positioned so the Creality is parallel. To the bench. Now it does spin just like the ball bearing one that I mentioned, but not as fast, so it seems to work better than this. To turn it on, you just press on the word Creality, and then it'll calibrate itself and reset to zero. If you ever want to shut it off, you just hold it for a few seconds, and it'll shut itself off. But it also automatically shuts off at 60 seconds, and at 20 seconds, it'll go into sleep mode and shut the display off. So let's turn it on. So now let's weigh an empty spool. A plastic spool that's empty will weigh about 200 grams. A cardboard spool, about 150 grams, although protopastas are even lighter, at 100 grams. Those are the numbers I use when I weigh on a scale. So let's see what this thing shows. 203 grams. So 200 grams is pretty accurate. So now let's weigh an actual spool of filament. This is the same type of filament spool, but this one has plastic on it. I don't know how much. I've printed with it. So let's see what it says. 1,006 grams minus the 200 means I have 806 grams of filament on this spool. So now let's weigh it on the actual scale. This said 806 grams. This says 1,004 minus the 200 is 804 grams of filament. So we're pretty close between these two. Now a full one kilogram, 1.75 millimeter spool of filament will give you about 300 meters of total length. Now you'll probably get a little bit more than that, but I use that 300 meters as a baseline. So in this case, we know it's about 80% full. It was 806 or 804 of 1,000. So it's 80%. So 80% of 300 meters is 240 meters. So that's how much I have on here, 240 meters of filament on this spool. Now you don't have to have this to get that same information. You can use all those same numbers and just weigh it with a scale that you have lying around the house. So this thing is not a whole lot different than that scale. In fact, once this is sitting on the spool holder and I've gotten its weight, 1,006, then it shuts off, and if I turn it back on, like see it's shut off, I turn it back on, it's going to calibrate to this weight. So now it's showing zero. So in order to find out the weight, I actually have to lift up the spool, and it reads a negative number. And now it's saying negative 1,005, 1,006. So that is how I have to measure it once the spool is there and this thing shuts off. So it's kind of backwards how it does it. It doesn't save the original value. It just goes back to reset and starts at zero again and then calibrates to a heavy spool. Now I can get the same information, bring the scale to the printer, and while it's printing, just kind of slip this off, let the filament keep feeding, weigh it, and then I'll get my reading and then put it right back. I'm ready to go. And then just take this to the next printer. So that's typically how I would do it. But having it right here on the printer is actually kind of handy, especially if you can afford to put it on a print farm, put it on each machine. So this is where it's kind of handy, especially if you have a print farm. Let's say you've been printing for a while and this big spool of filament is now down to this. So it's sitting there on the printer and you walk up to it while it's still printing, but you want to know how much is left. You just come up here, 
press it, turn it on, and it'll recalibrate to how much filament is left. It's at zero. I just lift it up. It says minus 339 minus the 200. I have 139 grams of filament left. And if you do the calculations based on that 300 meters on a full spool, it says I got 41 meters of filament left. Is that enough to print the next thing on my print farm? Well, you know that from your slicer how much it uses. So this kind of tells me how much is left and whether I can get two more prints out of this or if I just need to put a new spool of filament on the printer. Now, Creality retails this for $39.99, although they have it on sale, I think, right now for $33 on their website. But this is a case where Amazon is actually cheaper. You can buy this for $30.99, so basically $31, plus prime shipping if you wanted to get one of these. So Amazon is actually cheaper. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But is it worth that $31? I don't know. That's your call. But I wish they would open source this so we could go in and modify the code and make this better. I don't think that's possible. So I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. I think it could be a lot better, but I like it. And the fact that I can just come up to the printer, lift it, get a reading versus trying to track this down, taking it off, put it on here. I mean, this is cheaper if you got multiple printers. But putting this on the machine that to use the most, I think it's handy. I've been using it and I like it. But again, I don't love it, but I like it. Well, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or buy a membership through Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.